It took nearly a year, but some Rockaway Beach residents are finally returning to their beloved senior center. Our Agnes Chung was there. Rosalind Wilson says when her senior center closed because of Hurricane Sandy damage, she missed seeing her friends. Really lost and going through Sandy, but I try to keep myself busy. She doesn't have to worry about keeping herself busy any longer because the Seaside Senior Center has finally reopened its doors at a new location, the First Congressional Church on Beach 94th Street. Prayer answers things. Finally, finally, we got a place. The center was closed for 11 months after its prior location was destroyed during Hurricane Sandy. During the storm, ocean waters flooded Seaside Senior Center at its St. John's facility, knocking out its power and electricity. Our senior center is the home away from home, so for a lot of them, it, they had no place to go for months and months and months. City Council Member Eric Ulrich, who is running for re-election, helped secure this new location for the seniors. Now more than 60 seniors visit the center every day, which is run by Catholic Charities Brooklyn and Queens and funded by the Department for the Aging. Particularly in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, it is so important for seniors to stay happy, healthy, and active, and I'm glad that everything worked out here. This church was also damaged by Hurricane Sandy, but they were able to get everything fixed. The basement was rebuilt and the floors redone. This uh, community has pulled together in such an amazing way is terrific. It's a great opportunity for the church uh, to serve the community. Seniors are one of the most vulnerable populations in our society. The seniors say having a place to socialize and share stories is important during the Sandy recovery process. It's like a reunion and we fellowship together, the meals are good. And all of that makes you feel alive and well. In Rockaway Beach, Agnes Chung, New York One.